Hey everyone, I'm here um, with another edition of Five Questions with the amazingly talented Catherine Martin, costume and production designer. Um, so thank you for being here. Oh, thank you. So I'm very nice pleased to meet, to meet you. What is the process for visualising a film? How do you begin that? I work with a director who's intensely visual. So he usually has some very strong opinions about how to translate any given world into a series of images. Yeah. Do you ever get intimidated? Absolutely. <laughs> I've talked to a lot of creative people yeah. and they all describe a similar process. When you start off on a new job, you feel really pleased with yourself and yeah. you're like, I'm going to be a... This is so easy. Easy. Yeah. easy. And then you are faced with a blank page. Yeah. And you're faced with the expectations mm -hmm. of the audience, of the director of the piece, of the actors. Yeah. And then you just sort of think, I have no idea. I better clean the office. <laughs> How many coffees can one person drink in a day? <laughs> um, my pen doesn't work. There are thousands of excuses as to why you can't do it. Yeah. I have to just begin. <laughs> Tell me, what are some of the, the wonderful things that come out of working so closely with your husband and then, of course, drawbacks? The most wonderful thing is that we share a history mm -hmm. over a long number of years. You've seen your, your, each other at your best and at your absolute worst. Right. And I think this sense of a shared story, mm -hmm. especially when you work in the storytelling business, is a really fortifying thing. Mm -hmm. We both care what the other person thinks mm -hmm. still after all this time. Yeah. And I think that fundamentally we believe that out of spirited debate, sometimes even with very loud voices, you come up with a third idea that's mm -hmm. better than either one of your idea. And there is a sort of a larger purpose that we serve and that's trying to tell the story in the best way possible. What for you is the most solid piece of advice that you could give to someone starting out? Education. Mm -hmm. Anything that expands your mind and opens your perspective on other worlds, analyzing information, coming up with an opinion about it, mm -hmm. really is the fundamental building block. I was lucky enough to actually study what I do, mm -hmm. but I think in a way it almost doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It could be anything. Yeah. It's just about learning the process of learning. Right. And then now we're going to get to the fun part. These are questions in a vase that you're going to grab. The juicy, dirty questions are in oh, here. They're going to be really hard. I know they are. <laughs> if there's one thing to splurge on fashion-wise, what would that be? Mm. So easy. Shoes, of course. <laughs> What's the last pair of amazing shoes you found? J. Crew have matching Thai fabric pants uh -huh. and shoes. And I wore them together. Yeah. And I thought that was so hilarious. People were stopping me in the street going, do you realize your pants match your shoes? And I go, like, yeah. Exactly. Exactly the point. <laughs> Where do you keep your Oscars? I keep them. Um, in a room at home where we kind of keep all our movie memorabilia yeah. and it's a little bit of a joke because there's a famous Australian movie, not famous anywhere else, called yeah. The Castle uh -huh. where there's this sort of loser Australian family that keep all their trophies in the pool room, mm -hmm. you know, where they have their pool yeah, table. Yeah. And we always joke, we say, that is going straight <laughs> to the pool room. Thank you so much for sitting down with us. That was such an incredibly interesting and genuine conversation. I really appreciate oh, it. Thank you. Well, you're an incredibly interesting and genuine person. Oh, thank you. I, now I feel really good about myself. <laughs>